friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is fecal specification of a soft cataract let us observe the surgical steps this is the main incision with a 2.8 mm keratome on the posterior aspect of the limbus a cotton tipped junction bud is being used to fix the eyeball 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is being injected into the anterior chamber the patient is under topical anesthesia just proparacaine eye drop has been applied on the ocular surface only one side port has been made in this case the anti capsule is being sized with a 26 gauge band needle now with the help of this utrita forceps continuous capsulinear capsular axis is being met this is a fairly round ccc and now hydro dissection is being done with the help of bss and 27 gauge cannula the nucleus is palated the fluid comes anteriorly along the equator and the lens mass gets separated from its capsule visco is again injected into the anterior chamber and now is the time to introduce the tip of the feco handpiece the machine being used is otley cataryx 3 the tip is introduced with its bevel down towards the lens cataractus lens head is and now some superficial cortical lens matter is aspirated then the hand piece is turned bevel is now towards the cornea and now see how we can manage this nucleus the tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus and the chopper is being used to divide the nucleus into two halves failed again this is second attempt failed this is third attempt yes now i have become successful at the third attempt the nucleus has been divided into two hemineuclei each hemineuclei is being divided into two pieces now says soft nuclei you just engage the tip be in very low vacuum and use your chopper to slice the lens mass either be in irrigation or in very low vacuum and now with very little ultrasonic energy say about 30% the lens is emulsified and removed yes the nucleus has been managed this is a totally unedited surgery and you are watching each and every step of the surgery in this case i didn't remove the chopper i just was below the feco teeth to support the posterior capsule in case it comes forward and now visco again since i have made only one side port i'm going to use this instrument 23 gauze simco cannula for removal of cortical matter Yes. Either you use a uh, coaxial IA or this 23 gauze Simco for removal of cortical matter if you have made only one side port. Yes, the cortex is removed, but some cells are sticking to the posterior capsule 
little bit of removal has been done by the Simco itself. And now, the irrigating probe of bimanual IA is being removed to dislodge and displace the cells from the posterior capsule. Thus, the posterior capsule gets nicely polished. In this case, I am going to use a B cartridge. So, I am going to enlarge the main incision by about 0.2 millimeter. The initial incision is 2.8 millimeter. I am going to enlarge it by the keratome in this way. Just place the keratome, use irrigation and enlarge that much. Now take the B cartridge and the lens hydrophobic acrylic intraocular lens. This is Technis 1 from AMO. Beautiful lens. I like this lens very much. And now this is a bit of moxifloxacin. Now the side port is being closed by hydration of corneal stroma on either side of this stab wound. And now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. You can see that the optic is being nicely covered all around by the rexis margin. So the size of the rexis is about 5.5 millimeter and this is ideal rexis. Antichamber has been formed nicely and now the integrity of the wound is checked by a cotton tipped Janssen bard. Few drops of moxifloxacin is applied over the ocular surface and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve the mankind with love, respect, compassion and great surgical competence.